Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and today we're going to style a wig using Brandywine Wig Spray and John Renault Peace Out. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm going to do this for the very first time on camera, and so I'm going to ask you guys to be uh, just be patient with me because I have never styled a wig on camera and I have never tried this. I'm going to take a tip that the lady from Taz's Wig Closet gave on one of her videos about how to make a wig look a little bit more curly, a little bit more beachy, and do a couple of things like that. And I'm going to actually try this on this red wig that I got from Amazon. I've worked on this wig a little bit. I've trimmed the bangs. I've messed with it just a bit. And I've got this head wrap on it today because I wear head wraps a lot when I wear a wig just simply because I like the looks of them. And I think if I'm gonna wear an inexpensive wig like these wigs from Amazon, I think it makes the wig look a little bit less wiggy. So let's just jump right on into this and let's just see what we got. I have this head wrap on today, so I'm going to take this off, and I have actually um, plucked my part and applied a little bit of concealer in it, and I have trimmed my bangs just a little bit. Now, this wig, I've actually worn it a few times, and it fits rather well. I had to trim it above the ears. I have to, if I get an average wig cap, I have to trim it every single time. So, I've had to do that and I've done a lot of thinning on this wig because the wig was just simply too much hair. So one thing the lady from Taz's wig closet said to do, and I'm gonna test out my little spray bottle here. She said to spritz your wig down with water. So I'm gonna just give it a little, <laughs> whoa, a little quick misting and just kind of work the water through it. She said don't douse it really hard, but just kind of give it a little bit of a spritz. So, I have, it feels kind of wet, and she said this would dry pretty quickly, so we'll just see how this, see how this goes. So, that feels pretty good. Um, you know, I think that might have worked. Um, now, one thing you don't want to do, I've got my comb here, but you don't want to comb a wig when it's wet. Because if you do, especially a synthetic wig, because it will pull the fibers out and you're not going to be happy. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Brandywine um, wig spray for synthetic wigs. And it's kind of like a hairspray, only for synthetic wigs. I've never used this before. This is my very first time trying this out. So, this... I'm having trouble getting it out of here. Oh, there we go. So I think this is kind of like a setting spray. And I actually like big hair. I am from the South, in case you couldn't tell by listening to my crazy accent. And I actually like my hair to look a little bit bigger. I like poofy hair. You know, I'm kind of like the lady on Steel Magnolias. My hair tends to get <laughs> poofy when I'm nervous. So, but here we go. With this. I actually like this a lot. Um, I really like this technique and I can feel that it's from the, the spritzing of the water. I can tell it's drying already. And I think this has kind of helped the curls in this a little bit because my curls were a little, they were getting a little fuzzy, but wetting it down seems to really, really help. And I actually like this quite a lot. So this is a technique that I will be using. Next, I'm getting ready to put the platinum wig on and I'm going to use the John Renault Peace Out. I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I'm back. Next, I'm, we're going to try the piece out, and we're going to see how that works on this platinum wig. Now, here's another product that I have never used before, so here we go. We're just going to test it out and see. It comes in a package that looks like this. This looks very much like just my regular hair wax that I use on my regular hair. So, I'm going to get just a little bit out, and... You know, it's kind of sticky like any other product that you use. And I'm just going to kind of work it through this wig um, and see if I can't get it to punk up just a little bit. 
I really like the texture of this stuff. I really, really do. Um, you know, it's looking like, from what I can see in this camera, it actually looks like this actually works um, pretty well. Um, let me do a little bit of it in the back here. And I have not worked on this wig at all. The only thing I've done is I've cut the ear tabs um, a little bit on the side because it was just simply falling down over my ear. So the wig's, wig is large, but then I need to go in and take out some of the wefts in the back. And I haven't done that just because I'm lazy and I can get the same effect by tying a headscarf on. But um, all in all, I, I really like both these products. Um, here's the back after I've messed with it just a little bit. And I think once I do a little bit more to this, I think it'll be great. I'm going to finish it up with this finishing spray. Okay, so I've sprayed it just a little bit. And I really like this. I think this is going to be the wig that I actually wear today. Um, I'm going to be doing a wig review here pretty soon for... Um, Uniwigs. They're sending me a wig to review, and it's on its way here, and hopefully I'll get it and have everything ready and up to do it next week, and I'm really excited about that. This is the first time a company has ever contacted me about doing a wig review for them, and I'm really happy about that, and I'm going to see what, it's, what it looks like and, and give you guys an honest review. I do want to um, order some Ellen Villa wigs over the next few weeks just simply because I like the looks of them. They have a smaller cap and it's really hard to find companies that have a petite or a smaller cap and I've got a little head. So it it's really helpful to me if I can get a wig that's a little smaller and I don't have to do quite so much work to it as I do to these, these wigs that I get on Amazon. So that's something that's hopefully coming up in the next couple of months on this channel for sure. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will drop a link to everything I've used in the description so you guys can go take a look at it. God bless you. Maranatha.